Hello everybody, it's me Charlotte and today I'm going to show you guys how to do this. This is known as the double garter stitch. Super easy to do, beginner friendly. Um, you can do the alternating colors like I've done here. You do end up with like a color changing seam. You guys know what I'm talking about. I don't know how to get rid of it. Um, but that's if you do two colors. If you do one solid color, it's nice. Um, it reminds me almost of like siding on a house because it kind of looks like it overlays, like layers. It's a really cool stitch. Um, it is a one row repeat. You do have a setup row though. So after the setup row, it's one row repeat. Both sides are the exact same. Um, you can make a scarf, you can make a blanket. Um, do what you want with it. Uh, before we get into it though, real quick, I do want to say thank you for everyone who has subscribed to my channel. Thank you for liking and commenting and sharing my videos. It helps me out tremendously and I am very grateful for that. Um, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so now. And if you would like to follow me on Facebook, I will leave a link to my Facebook in the description below. Alright, let's get started on how to do this double garter stitch. Okay. There are a lot of videos on face or on Facebook, a lot of videos on YouTube showing you how to do this. I found some of them to be kind of confusing. Um, so I'm going to do my best to try to simplify it the best way I can. I'm also going to show you guys how to bind off. Um, they don't show you. I haven't found a video yet that shows you how to bind off the double garter stitch. So I'm going to show you how to do that as well. Okay, to get started, all you need is yarn and needles, of course. Um, I do the long tail cast on. You can cast on as many stitches as you want. So you don't have to keep track of how many stitches you're casting on. You can cast on as many as you want. I always cast on an even number. I don't know why, that's just how I do it. I like even numbers, I guess. But you cast on as many stitches as you want. Ah, maybe. Okay. I have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Okay. Do fourteen here. And to get started, it's easy. Um, it's beginner friendly, like I said. There is, I mean, it's a new technique. If you are new to knitting, you've probably never done this before, but it's not hard. So let me show you. The first stitch. All you want to do is knit as normal. That was easy enough. The second stitch and all the rest of the stitches will be done the exact same. And that is, you insert your needle as if to knit. Now you're going to wrap your yarn twice. So a normal knit stitch is just this. This way we're going to do it twice. We're going to go one, two. So we have two wraps on our needle. And we're going to pull it through. I always pull up a little bit because you don't want to have too tight a tension on this stitch. Pull it off. And it's very important to make sure that these stitches here, the wraps that you put on your needle and pulled through, they're not twisted or crossed. You want to make sure that they're nice and straight. If you can see what I'm talking about. I'm trying to get a new camera, guys. It's, it's been challenging. Okay. Again, same thing. We're going to insert our right needle into that stitch as if to knit. But we're going to wrap it twice. And we're going to pull it through, pull up a little bit, that's what I do, and then pull it off. And you're going to do that all the way for the rest of your stitches. Insert the needle, wrap twice, pull it through. I always lift up a little bit, pull it off. Making sure that these wraps on my needle did not get twisted along the way. When you first do it, they're probably going to get twisted. It takes a little practice to find the perfect tension, the perfect way to do it, but once you get it, it becomes pretty easy. So you just keep doing that. Insert the needle, wrap it twice, bring it through. And you want to do that for all the stitches. Like so. Okay. Now you want to turn your work. Like, can you see how that's like twisted a little bit? Or it's crossed? If you take that and you just pull it down a little bit, 
it straightens itself out. Okay, now this row is the row that will be repeated over and over and over again until you're finished with your piece. Um, what you want to do is that first stitch, so you have two here that are together. As you can see, they're kind of together, but you're only going to take that first one and you're going to knit it as normal. Okay? Now all the rest of the stitches will be done this way. You have what looks like a yarn over and you have another stitch. You want to knit those two together. Wrapping twice. That's the key to the whole thing is wrapping twice. And here, this happened. <clears throat> See how it crossed right there? You don't want that. You want it to be kind of, you want it to be straight. So it is a little finicky, but you can get it, I think. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you really don't want it to be crossed, okay? Again, you have what looks like a yarn over, and you have these two stitches that look like they're together, but you only want that first one. So you only want the first two, the yarn over and that first stitch. Insert your needle, wrap twice, bring it through, bring it up a little bit. You can kind of correct it to make sure they're not crossed and pull it off. Again, you have what looks like a yarn over and you want to take that first stitch and knit them together, wrapping twice, bring it through. You can use your thumb to help pull up a little bit, take it off. Yarn over and another stitch right here, this one. You only want that first one of that group of two. You only want the first one and the yarn over, what looks like a yarn over. Wrap twice, pull it through, bring it up a little bit, pull it off. Yarn over, this first stitch, put them together, wrap twice, bring your yarn through, bring it up a little bit, pull it off. That's what you want to do for this whole row and every row. That exam, same exact thing. You knit two together, the yarn over and that first stitch, they're like kind of wrapped together. Can you see like, they're kind of like wrapped together, but you only want that first one and the yarn over. And you knit them together, wrapping the needle twice, pulling it through, bring it up a little bit to ensure that those wraps on your needle don't get crossed. <clears throat> it takes a little practice, guys, but I think the outcome is way worth it. I'm just going to finish up this row, and then I'm going to show you guys how to change color so you can alternate. And then I'm going to show you guys how to bind off. Because like I said, there's a lot of videos on YouTube showing you how to do this double garter stitch, but they don't show you how to bind off. So I thought I would show you how I bind off. Not saying my way is the right way, but... And you're left with two stitches, do the same thing. My way might not be the correct way, but it's a way that works. So why not use it, right? Okay to change color. Now if you want to do if you want to do something like this that ladders like stripes, what you want to do is two rows. So we did our cast on which doesn't really count. We went this way, we came back. We're on the same side as our tail now. And this is where we want to change color if we want to make that striped lateral ladder looking piece here. Take your new color and like I said, every row is exactly the same. So what we're going to do is we're going to put our needle into that first stitch as if to knit it. Grab our new color, wrap it around the needle like so. Bring it through. It's going to be loose and finicky. It happens. And then we want to take these two stitches, that yarn over and this first stitch. Insert it into both can tighten up your, if you've ever changed color, you know that when changing color, you have to pull on some strings to make things all tight again. Wrap that new yarn twice. Take it off. Again, you have the yarn over, and we want that first stitch of what looks like 
how they're wrapped together, like they're come together. We want the yarn over and that first one, and we want to go through both, wrapping our yarn twice, bringing it through. See how it kind of twisted? We want to make sure that doesn't twist. So if you pull up on it a little bit, it'll untwist itself usually. Again, the yarn over and that first stitch, go through both, wrap twice, bring it up a little bit. Now if you want, you can put your work down and you can tie your new color and your old color together just to ensure that it, everything stays nice and tight the way you want it. You don't have to pull too hard. I usually do a double knot, tighten it up a little bit. Okay. Now where are we? Okay. We have our yarn over and our other, our, the first stitch of that like double stitch here. Insert through both, yarn over twice, bring up, pull up a little bit, it kind of corrects it, pull it off. You want to do that all the way across all the stitches. And I'm sorry if this is taking forever and it's boring. <laughs> I promise it won't be much longer if my yarn would cooperate. Okay, sorry guys. Go through two, yarn over, or er, wrap my needle twice, pull off. We have a yarn over and that first stitch. Pull up. And that's all it is. Last two, get put together wrap twice. Okay. Now to go back, you do the same thing. The first stitch is always knit alone. It's always knit by itself. Pull it off. And then we are back to our yarn over and our first stitch. And we just want to knit those two together, wrapping our needle twice, pulling it through. I'm going to show you guys how to change color back. Like if you want to ladder your um, colors up the side, how to do that. And if you guys ever see dog hair in my work, I apologize. I have three dogs and it is shedding season. I have an English Mastiff, which I love dearly, and I have a German Shepherd and they both shed like crazy. Um, my Shih Tzu, he doesn't shed at all. Love him. Um, but my other dogs, they shed like crazy, and it is that time of year. It's shedding season, so I apologize. If you guys ever see dog hair <laughs> in anything I'm doing, I know it's kind of gross, but it's, it's my life. Dog hair, it happens. Okay, I finished that up. Now I want <clears throat> to bring back the gray color. So... Take my pink yarn here that has a knot in it. Don't we love that? Okay. Take our pink yarn. We have our gray yarn. What I do is I take my the color I was just working with. I bring it down in front. Like I have my the color I want to work with now. I'm trying to make this as easy as to explain as possible. The color I was working with, the gray, is what I want to start working with now. I was just working with the pink, so I want to take the pink and I want to bring it up and around the gray. Hold on, actually, hold on. Sorry, take your pink, take your pink yarn, or in this case, my pink yarn, put it back here, take my gray yarn, bring it up. That should hold it in place. And then I start again. So I inserted my needle into that first stitch, taking my gray yarn, knitting that first stitch by itself, and then starting the whole process over, wrapping twice. Bringing up, again, two stitches here, the yarn over in that first stitch, wrap it twice, bring it up. Okay, 
that's it, guys. That's how you do it. Um, I'm going to show you real quick. I'm going to finish this row, and then we're going to bind off. I showed, I told you I was going to show you guys how to bind off. So I know this video is probably like way too long and boring. Um, let me just show you real quick how to bind off. <clears throat> um, of course, I have to get there. So I apologize. It's probably a horrible video. I'm sorry. My goal is not to make horrible videos, I promise. I'm trying to earn enough money to make, buy a new camera and new lighting, which I think would help out greatly. Okay. There we go. Now, to bind off, say you're like, okay, now I'm ready to bind off. You have to do, I call a setup row to bind off, and that is where you knit the first stitch just as normal. And then you do the same thing. You pick up that yarn over and that first stitch, but you only wrap once. So we're just picking up that yarn over and that first stitch, but we're only wrapping our needle once as just like a normal knit, a normal knit stitch. And once we get all the way through that, then we can do the bind off, but we had to do a little setup row for our bind off. And how I bind off, it's a little stretchy. I actually like the bind off. It doesn't like um, tighten up or squinch together. It kind of just, um, it's a stretchy bind off. And I'm sure there's a name for it. I'm sure you guys have probably seen it done before. But this is how I do it. I knit one like normal. I yarn over and I knit the next one. And then I take my yarn over, and I bring it over, and then I take this one, and I bring it over. Again, yarn over, knit one, take your yarn over, bring, oh, bring it over, take this one, bring it over. Again, yarn over, <clears throat> knit one, take that yarn over, slide it off, take this back one, slide it off, again, yarn over, think you guys are getting the hang of it, yarn over, <clears throat> and you just keep doing that until the very end, and as you can see, here is the bind off, here's what it looks like when you finish, but it's stretchy, so I like it. But that's how you do it, guys. If you guys try this, I would love to see your guys' work. You can post it on my Facebook page. Um, again, that link will be in the description below. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so now. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends if you'd like to. And I think that's it, guys. So until next time, I hope you all have a fabulous day. And happy knitting. Bye.